In my topic resolved, the United States federal government should prioritize reducing the federal debt over promoting economical growth. I affirm that the harm of having debt is real. The U.S. owes about $20 trillion to other countries. There is a harm in the economy because of the debt and possibly creating enemies worldwide because of this debt. The country owes so much money to places around the world like China. Our country wants to spend more money day by day, but it's not paying off these places like China. Contention 1. Our country would still be advanced. If we give countries the chance to trade and give goods, etc., then we need to be prepared for debt and not trying to advance the economy when we are in deep debt. If we want to, tr- if we want trade to continue and allies to be there when we need, when we need to be fair and equal towards the country we owe, our country is already a stage four, high technology, high rand country, and while still have very, very advanced, high technology, good economy. It's way more important to have allies and countries and not worried about the U.S. paying them the money that we owe. Heritage.org states that the debt that is increasing year by year is harmful to the economy and it should be one of the first things we focus on. Peter Pam from Forbes magazine asked the question, is the national debt really that bad? The answer he found was yes. The U.S. will become a better country if it's not paying debt. The outlook if if it is paying debt. The outlook of it is showing that even if we start paying our debt that we owe to the countries twenty-one trillion dollars, then we can still have more allies, be trusted, and have a better economy, just a little bit slower pace. Contention two, war between countries. If we don't pay people what they want and give countries the money that US owes them, then it can be a major threat towards us. What if the countries are in need of money and they can't have the money we owe them because we won't pay them? According to the New York Times, the debt is real within the U.S. and other countries, which can create dangerous conflicts. B-19 of the government governmental issue list shows that, the, that debt is a major issue and some outcome will have more than $21 trillion. We owe them creating more fierce countries. A research from NBC News shows three reasons why we should stop ignoring the debt we owe. First, gross federal debt stands at at a massive $21.2 trillion. Economists and policymakers are increasingly urging the U.S. government to address the debt now while the economy is solid footing and before the next crisis hits. Even if you think that public debt just doesn't matter to the economy outcomes, the thing you have to admit is that when we hit a downturn, governments are less likely to take significant steps if the debt as high if if the debt is as high as ours," said Jared Bernstein, set, uh, senior fellow of CNBC. The overall look of the case: the United States government should prioritize reducing the federal debt over promoting economic growth. I affirm for two main contentions. First. Our country would still be advancing if we were doing the right thing and paying debt, which we need to because it will benefit our country. And second, war and conflict can unfold between countries that we owe money to. Thus, we affirm.